Ladies and gentlemen, this is Shane Daly, and this is the very first interview with our new PZW heavyweight champion, Richie Sick. That's right. But what makes this interview unique is that Richie Sick has asked that all the questions be asked by the PZW fans. That's right. So uh, let's get started. You ready, Rich? Absolutely. Whiptastic Lover asks, you're the new PZW champion, and it's about damn time. How does it feel to finally be recognized for all your work in the indie scene? It's great. Ashley Breen asks, I was at your professional wrestling debut in Beverly, Mass. in 2006. Uh, memories of North Shore Wrestling, and how would you feel about your tag partner at the show, John Wilson, being in Project Zero Wrestling? I'll tell you right now that I would actually like to see John in Project Zero Wrestling, but, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say, you know, he's off doing his other thing. You know, he's doing some karate right now, I guess. So let him do that, you know, and if we have a cross paths in PZW, I'll be glad to have him. Grey Ghost from the BurningHammer.com asks, What's Derek Simonetti really like backstage? <laughs> At first it was great, now he's just a piece of shit. Next. What is the most important moment in your entire wrestling career besides winning the PZW Championship? Well, there's two things that come to mind. One of them is actually being a part of PZW. And the second I would say is, the reason why I got this belt is because I won the money in the bank. And because I won the money in the bank, I became the champion. Sean O of TRP Online writes, Have you really known Derek Simonetti for 20 years, or is that something that commentators say to make us believe there's a long history between you two? Yes, I have actually known Todd for 20 years. Todd? Todd, that, that's his real name. Derek Simonetti's real name is Todd? Yes, unfortunately. Sorry, sorry. Ha ha ha. But and you've known him for 20 years. I've known Todd for 20 years. That is a years. long time. We grew up, we grew up down, the street, uh, down the street together when uh, we went to kindergarten together. He actually still has a picture that he's holding against me of me sticking my tongue out as a little kid that he's holding ransom. And I want it back. Richie, can I get your memories of the three-way dance with Tommy Corbin and Stevie James? Oh, that was a fantastic match. Uh, Tommy Corbin is a good wrestler. Stevie James is one hell of a competitor. And I, if I can remember correctly, Stevie James actually showed up in his underwear. <laughs> but uh, besides that, you know, I'm going to say it was a hard fought match. You know, unfortunately, I didn't uh, pick up the, the win and wasn't the normal contender. But uh, besides that, you know, it was a fantastic match. He was in his underwear, wasn't he? Yes, he was. And it was actually kind of disgusting. Richie Sick. Um, we have one anonymous person asking, do you have any questions for yourself? <laughs> when will be the right time for me to succeed? What's, what, what's that thing in your shoulder there? It's now. <laughs> <laughs> How did you enjoy your trip to Japan? And did you wrestle on any wrestling shows while there? Uh, yes, I did. While, while I was there, actually, I attended a couple of shows in New Japan. And uh, back backstage, you know, I became friends with some of the people back there, and they taught me a couple of things that I'm going to show you later in the season. K March End asks, any romances backstage at PZW you can comment on? Yeah. There's well, these who? two guys. One of them. Who? It's kind of a love-hate relationship. All right, you ready? Adam Nessel and Derek Simonetti. Think about it. I am thinking about it. It hurts. <sighs> Ian Wallace of SFX360.com writes, I bought the PZW Season 1 DVD, still for sale, and I saw one of the bonus matches. What can you tell us about the Dirty Doper? <laughs> Black Betty, Black Betty, Bama Dan, whoa, Black Betty, Child of my heart on the holy thing go wild, Bama Dan, whoa, Black Betty. <laughs> Frank Kruda of Pro Wrestling Illustrated asks, Do you have any advice for young guys entering the business? All you have to do is be positive. And tell yourself that you can make it in the wrestling business, and when you can make it in the wrestling business, you can. 
So just fucking be positive about it. Mike Pava of WEEI Sports Radio Network asks, Any funny stories about the interviewer Shane Daly? <laughs> I got one story, alright? So this one time he didn't know about it, but I was uh, sneaking around his house and I was watching him. I guess he hired a prostitute. And uh, <laughs> it's actually pretty funny when I noticed uh, me looking into the mirror. I know Shane Daly dressed as a baby. I don't know, I guess Shane Daly likes to get off being dressed up as a baby in the bedroom. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I'm gonna deny all rumors right now. <laughs> Judges? No, no, that's legit. I'm sorry. If you didn't see it on ShaneDailyWrestleZone.com, didn't happen. I got a video. <laughs> How much do I have to pay you to keep this quiet? Uh, it's too late. Uh, this is live. This is live? Life savings. Roll it. <laughs> <laughs> Scorsese Mark 7 asks, What is your favorite movie of all time? The Hangover. The Hangover? Is that, is that why you're wearing the shades, Rich? Let's not go there. <laughs> Seth 1 writes, Past or present, dead or alive, who would you most want to get in the ring with for a match? What do you think? Well, there are so many great names. What, what's a good Richie Sink versus the deceased wrestler match? I have it. I'm going to say it. But I want to know what you think. They're dead? Yeah. Andre the Giant. Let's get realistic. I would like to see Richie Sick against Owen Hart. Richie Sick against Owen Hart? But that would be an interesting match. It would be a very interesting match. Mike Pascucci asks, what are your favorite television shows, and how do you feel about the show Seinfeld? Fuck Seinfeld, Futurama, The Simpsons, American Dad, I like anything that has to do with conspiracies, I like UFOs, I like me. You can catch him on PZW Television, season one is now on DVD. Cheap pop right there. An anonymous writer wrote in and said, I was looking you up on YouTube, and I found a video of you getting into a fist fight with a guy named Mike Cloudier? Cloudier? Cloudier. Cloudier? What can you tell us about that fight? Well, it all started because of a staple gun. A staple gun? Yep, I accidentally broke his staple gun. He got mad. He had his friends over. He wanted to sound tough. He wanted to fight. Steven had the camera on. Steven started the role. I didn't want to fight germ warfare. Long story short, beat the shit out of him. I've I seen it. He's, he's not shit. He beat the shit out of him. No face, no name at AOL.com writes, No bullshit. What is your real first name? Richard. Richard. I mean, Richie. Richard. Makes sense. It seemed as if you couldn't find the words you wanted to say at PZW's Hall of Fame ceremony for Ideal. Uh, is there anything you wish you would have said looking back on it now? There's not really much I could have said, you know, you know, I mean, David was a good guy. He, you know, went off to Pennsylvania and did his thing and didn't like what he was dealt with. So, you know, came to a certain, a certain situation in his life where he had to do what he did and you know I think it was a stupid decision but there's nothing I can do to backtrack that so anything that I can add to it is you know miss him every day you know. The Bulldozer at OffTheMarkShow.com writes who is your favorite wrestler of all time? John who, Michaels Who is the worst wrestler you have ever seen? Michael Ball Sports and who do you model yourself after in the ring? I, I don't know. I'm my own self. I model myself after myself. R.D. Reynolds of WrestleCrap.com asks, Boxers or briefs, Richie Sick? Commando. Snow SG writes, Snow SG. What is your honest opinion of Shane Sharp? Honest opinion of Shane Sharp? Well, 
He just screwed us. Well, he didn't really screw us, you know. Him leaving gave us an opportunity to do what we wanted to do. SlateXEdge at AOL.com asks, Are you going to be a fighting champion or another coward like Derek Simonetti and Tommy Corbin? Unlike Tommy Corbin and Derek Simonetti, I will be a fighting champion here in PZW. You will no longer see people not wanting to wrestle. You will see me wrestling. I will take on all comers anytime they want me to take them on. I will beat all challenges and I will be the best and the longest reign in PCW champion that PCW has ever seen. Bank on it! Sethrin asks, what's it like wrestling for PCW? Stop. 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 What are you doing here? Shane, take your geek box and get the hell out of my sight. You! Richie sick, huh? Mr. Champion. I bet you think you are great. I know I'm great. No, you're not, because let me tell you something. You're looking at great. I am great. I'm Tommy Corbin. Everybody knows how great I am. I don't need to sit here and waste time and talk to these stupid people that watch our show constantly. Oh, I love you, Richie Sick. <laughs> the hell with those people, okay? You see, I'm about to change the answer to that question that that nerd was about to ask you. How's it feel to wrestle in PCW? I'll answer that for you. Once the best of the best comes around, I'm gonna go into the best of the best. I'm gonna win and when I win, I will become the general manager of this company. PZW is putting up the general manager spot for the winner of the best of the best. So when best of the best comes around, I don't give a who it is in front of me in that ring. I am going to take them down to get to you, Richie. That's all that matters to me. Don't you smile at me like that. I will wipe that damn look off your face. You think I'm joking? I've been through best of the best before. I've been to the finals before. You know, if, if things were in my favor, I would be the best of the best. But this time, this time, I've thought about it. I, I could be the owner of this TV show. I could cancel all these stupid interviews. I could make you wrestle every week, handicap matches, one on two, one on three, one on four. I, I, I could put you in front of the PZW arena and make you sell tickets for me before the shows. <laughs> I, do, what, you think I'm joking? Get out of here, Shane. You think I'm joking? I will make you my bitch. Leave me the hell alone. And every time, you walk into work knowing that you have a boss like me. <laughs> Will you leave me the fuck call? <laughs> See, ladies and gentlemen, unlike Tommy Corbin, I knew exactly who his first round opponent was. Ladies and gentlemen, Stevie James.